We are going to make a model with the new Intraoral Scan Dental Model Maker. I'm going to be using OD01 for this. Simply open up your case, go to pre design, click on more applications, and choose AccuDesign. I'm going to make a model of both. I want a model with a foundation. You can see the orthodontic is a slightly different foundation. I'm going to do a base plate honeycomb. This will get you the best results for your model. I'm going to enter the patient's name. And I'm going to go to print. Now, if you look in your details here, if this doesn't match the model resin you've actually chosen for your printer, then click back to Print Settings and choose the model resin you're using. For, for dental models with the honeycomb texture, you do not need supports. They'll lay out just fine. Hit next, it'll slice it, and then send the print job off. And now it's printing. You can walk in and check your printer and uh, make sure it's printing. And uh, you can actually now close out of AccuWare once the print job is completely sent over to the printer. Now that the print is complete, we can go forward with uh, removing the uh, print base. What I first do though is I use the silicone paddle that comes with your printer to clean all the resin off the top so I can get it back into my tank. Uh, there's no need to waste that resin and then dirty up your alcohol with it. So by Taking a few moments to wipe the top, you can preserve a lot of re resin and also preserve the life of your alcohol wash. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, wake up my fab wash unit. I always go, if you go into settings, you can go into sleep mode. And when you put the fab wash into sleep mode, it puts the whole unit uh, back down the alcohol and closes the lid. I prefer to do this. I don't like to keep a vat of alcohol open to the air as it will start sucking in moisture and your alcohol will become less useful. Now you simple just, simply just move your print base over to the fab wash 
And then what I'm doing now is selecting the correct resin that I used, uh, the OD01. And then I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to choose that I want it to wash and cut. So what it's going to do is it's going to automatically go down. It'll cut the model off the base plate for me. And then you'll see it go all the way down into the base once it cuts the base plate off. Um, and then it'll go through a full wash cycle. Once it's in its wash cycle, um, you know, it's going to take about 10 minutes for something like an OD01. Uh, so obviously you're not going to hang around and watch it. In the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm prepping for my next print. So uh, I'm switching resins on my next print. I'm about to do um, a part and I print it with a, uh, a resin from Liquorite. So I haven't used this resin in a while. It's been in that print tank for quite some time. So what I'm going to do is grab my clean silicone uh, spatula and I'm going to take some time to mix up that resin. Um, usually I like to mix it going all along the edges whenever I put a tank in that I haven't used that day. Um, so I'll mix it, then uh, take the spatula out, clean the spatula and alcohol. Um, usually I spend a couple of minutes mixing. When the washing cycle is complete, uh, the unit will automatically raise up the print. Um, this actually serves an important purpose. It's so that the alcohol can drain away from your prints. You want them to be dried of alcohol before you put them into your curing station. Uh, sometimes if I'm going to pull them out of the tray a little early, I'll just wrap them in a clean paper towel, give them a good shake to get the alcohol off them. You don't want to rub them or anything because you haven't put them in for their final cure yet. I just want to get the any excess uh, drops of alcohol off them. So I just kind of put them in loosely in a paper towel, give them a quick shake. Uh, then I load them into the FabCure 2. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I select the resin I used to print with. And then I'm going to start. Once you start the curing process, if you've selected the resin you used, it'll automatically select the time and whether or not the unit needs to be preheated. Um, so uh, the curing process uh, takes about seven minutes for model material. And when this is done, we'll have our final models.